So today we're going to take a look at the exotic merciless rifle in the Division 2, which is a pretty decent semi-automatic rifle. As of now, this rifle can only be found on random boss drops from strongholds or missions when you play them on the hard difficulty or challenging difficulty. Our very first try on this stronghold that I played here called District Union Arena, my teammate got the merciless rifle from the final boss drop again on the very first try. Again, you just need to play it on hard to get it, but it seems like challenging might have a higher drop rate. So while I would suggest playing on challenging, you don't have to. I've actually seen other people saying that it dropped from them on normal difficulty, but I'm assuming the drop rate for that is insanely low if it's even true. This will drop on any mission, but the ones that I see the most people getting the gun are from the final boss on the Jefferson Trade Center, Grand Washington Hotel, and Bank Headquarters missions. So just grind these missions over and over again until you get the drop while playing on the hardest difficulty possible. I played like 7 missions on challenging and then just started grinding them on hard instead. And I find it a lot easier to just match make random missions on hard difficulty if you don't have a full team. To play missions or strongholds on a harder difficulty, I believe you need to be at endgame first. I didn't have the challenging difficulty unlocked until I got to World Tier 4. It's best to wait until you're at a gear score of at least 450 anyways, since the Merciless Rifle gear score will depend on your overall score. Merciless is one of the best guns in the game, in my opinion, especially if you're running a build with some extra explosive damage. It's a semi-automatic rifle, but if you look at the talents, we have a binary trigger, which makes it so that when you let go of the trigger or let go of left click, each time it'll fire an extra round. So pulling the trigger and then letting go will fire two rounds. If you look down at the Guerrilla Warfare perk, you'll realize that the two shots are different types of rounds. Pulling the trigger will shoot a primer, and then letting go of the trigger will fire a detonator round. If you shoot a primer round into someone and then let go of the trigger while still aiming at the enemy, it'll shoot the detonator round into the enemy, causing the primer to explode. If you instead shoot a primer round into the enemy, and then shoot the detonator round somewhere else, it won't explode and the primer round will stay in the guy's body. You can stick up to five primer rounds into them by doing this, and then shoot the detonator to cause all five of them to explode to deal major damage. And still looking at the Guerrilla Warfare, you can see that it says you'll gain 75% damage per primer detonated. And then for the holstered perk, meaning while this gun is holstered, your other guns have a 5% chance to deal 20% explosive damage with each shot hit. So even the holstered perk is pretty awesome. The gameplay you see here doesn't have any explosive buffs equipped, but if you run the demolition specialist and equip the extra explosive damage perks, and then get some gear that adds explosive damage, you can do way more damage than you're seeing here. Maybe I'll make a separate video on a build for this gun. But thanks for watching guys, see ya!